What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the apparent leaked game that we're going to be seeing in Call of Duty 2019. So today is May 24th and this morning we saw a ton of leaks on Twitter and on YouTube talking about uh, the official reveal that's coming on, uh, it's supposedly coming on May 30th, it's going to be a reveal for Call of Duty Modern Warfare and even though we've already seen COD 4 Modern Warfare, um, apparently this year we're going back to the roots to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, as you guys know, pretty much everybody has been speculating that we're going to be getting Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 this year, but I think that this leak is kind of relevant because I can tie it in pretty well to what we saw last year. Um, if you guys don't remember, around the summertime of last year, we started to see the first leaks for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, and a bunch of credible sources said that yes, this is happening, but it's going to be campaign only. And everybody was kind of up in arms, everybody was infuriated, everybody was upset, because as you know, you know the, the most important part of that game for most players was the multiplayer uh, aspect of it. So for them to remaster it without the multiplayer is, you know, it's obviously foolish. They obviously had to have something else up their sleeve if that was the plan. And I think that this leak talking about this year's Call of Duty being just Modern Warfare kind of ties into that. And I think I wanted to just talk about this with you guys a little bit and state my predictions for what's going to happen again at this time of recording. Uh, we haven't seen the official reveal. Apparently it's coming on the 30th. Apparently it's for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but we still could be seeing Modern Warfare 4, none of this is confirmed, so this could all be irrelevant in just a couple of days. Um, so this is just my speculation and my train of thought right now. So what I'm thinking is that for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the game that we'll be seeing this year, um, is that it's probably going to combine many aspects of Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3 into one single game, which isn't that far of a stretch, right? Like, they already have the, the remastered Call of Duty Modern Warfare maps, guns, and basically the whole engine is there, right? All they have to do is just remake some of the other maps and use all the same assets, essentially, right? They're very, very similar assets. All of the games took place within a couple of years of one another, um, so they could visually use the exact same stuff that they already have. It would be relatively easy. As far as campaign mode goes, because I believe we we actually have been confirmed a campaign for this upcoming Call of Duty, despite not having one in Black Ops 4. Um, so the campaign, for, from my perspective, is probably going to be one of a few things. Um, it's either going to be a prequel to the original trilogy, or it's probably going to be, it could potentially be some sort of uh, retelling of key events from a different perspective, right? Um, but overall, I think it's probably going to be some sort of unique campaign that we haven't really seen before. Like I said, with maybe some missions that overlap, but from a different perspective, maybe from the enemy point of view or from a stealth perspective or something along those lines. And as far as the multiplayer, it wouldn't really be a stretch to combine those three games. I mean, going from Modern Warfare 1 to 2 is kind of a big jump, but 2 to 3 was very, very small it was it was a minor difference between the two games and i remember vividly when modern warfare 3 came out one of the biggest outcries from the from the fan base was that it felt like dlc for modern warfare 2. it felt like all they did was make a bunch of new maps kind of reskinned some guns and threw in maybe a couple of of uh of kill streaks changed one or two perks it, it was a very small change from the eyes of a lot of people uh, in my opinion, I, I think they are very different games. I think they play different. There's, you know, different uh, kill streak. You can do the the. I think it was the the specialist kill streak that gave you your your extra perks. You know, the support kill streaks, which would, you know, if you died, I think you could continue to earn towards them, but they were weaker streaks, if I recall. Um, so yeah, I think for me, the games played very differently. Um, but I can see why people would think that because again, they were very similar games. So looking forward if we were to get a modern warfare game this year and it's not modern warfare 4 it's not a direct sequel which keep in mind a direct sequel like as much as i feel like modern warfare 4 would be a logical next game for them to release 
as far as the campaign goes there wasn't really much left after modern warfare 3 right like like it kind of like wrapped up the whole story and that was pretty much it like we don't really have much else to go on so it would make sense that they would avoid calling it modern warfare 4 if it's actually not a sequel so with that being said they could be combining the three games taking assets from all of them and building the ultimate modern warfare experience we could be seeing some of the best guns from all the games in one game we could be seeing a bunch of remastered maps in one game and on top of that with there being a unique campaign we could still see a few original brand new maps for the modern warfare series right so imagine this game coming out this year we have maybe three maps from the original modern warfare right which would be kind of lame because we already have it remastered maybe five maps from modern warfare 2 the best five maps which would be hard to pick because i think they're all great the five best maps for modern warfare 3 and then maybe five fully brand new maps for call of duty 2019 right um so we would see a multiplayer experience with all of the guns from the modern warfare series and of course you know a lot of them overlap like i said we've saw the m16 in multiple modern warfare games we've seen the acr we've seen the scar we've seen the ak these guns are in all three games right and a couple of them are unique right obviously so you can pick and choose which unique weapons you want to put in but ultimately you could easily pick the most uh, the most relevant guns and the most memorable guns from all three combine them into one nice weapon pool to choose from and have some of the best maps remastered from all of the games and that would be the definitive modern warfare experience now there would be a couple of things that would have to be ironed out in order for this game to actually work and be good and be fun and memorable and playable um, and worth picking up right real quick i want to talk about the modern warfare 2 remastered campaign again um, because i think the way that they're going to tie that in is probably as a pre-order bonus you know if you pre-order call of duty modern warfare 2019 you get the modern warfare 2 remastered campaign um as a pre-order bonus and you could probably download it a week early like they did with modern warfare and you can kind of start to relive that campaign in the week leading up to the actual release of the game and from there i think we'll see probably a very similar either retelling or original modern warfare campaign with a with a hybrid ultimate modern warfare multiplayer experience i think that would be the best case scenario the only thing that i'm worried about is how are they going to handle the maps right and how are they going to handle the kill streaks because you know modern warfare that's one thing right we saw the um uav we saw the uh, airstrike and we saw the attack helicopter in all of the modern warfare games so those three kill streaks i can almost guarantee are going to be there um how are they going to handle things like the chopper gunner the ac-130 the reaper you know we've seen those those kill streaks from modern warfare 2 they either made it into modern warfare 3 but heavily nerfed or changed or like in the case of the reaper how would that work on modern warfare maps i mean i guess it would probably work just fine because it's similar to the ac-130 in a way um i think it can be done but what i would hate to see is for them to leave out some of the best things from modern warfare 2 because look if they're gonna remaster modern warfare 2's campaign and then release a hybrid modern warfare experience in as far as the multiplayer goes they never are addressing the remastered modern warfare 2 multiplayer experience and that ultimately would leave a ton of people disappointed right in my opinion i would rather see modern warfare 2 remastered complete game with re with multiplayer and then a unique modern warfare 4 release for 2019 i would rather see that but if we're going off of these leaks and if they are true then it seems more likely that we're getting a modern warfare game that is a hybrid of all modern warfare games to be released in 2019 and if that's the case are we ever going to see a modern warfare 2 multiplayer remaster it seems unlikely um and if the, and if it is unlikely and if it doesn't end up happening because of this hybrid game there are still going to be massive amounts of fans super disappointed 
with this release and I'm really scared that they're gonna do that and it's it's going to mess it all up so I'm really curious to see how they're going to address that because again if they try to make a hybrid game they may think that they're catering to the people who want the Modern Warfare 2 remastered multiplayer experience but in actuality what they're doing is not giving them the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered experience um, no matter how you cut it you can you can say well there's some of the maps and some of the guns it's like no people want the full thing or they don't want anything or right like if you're not going to give them the full thing then you're not giving them what they want right a hybrid isn't going to, to cut it even if it's got some of the maps and some of the guns and some of the kill streaks people want the full thing so it'll be interesting to see you know if this leak is true first of all uh, and also how it's actually going to be handled by infinity ward um, and finally i want to talk about the possibility that this could be the last infinity ward call of duty right like if they're going back to their roots, right? Essentially what they're saying is if they're releasing Modern Warfare and it's a hybrid of the of the of the original trilogy, what they're saying is okay, this is our best work, right? They're saying this is because why after two failures, right? We saw Ghost and we saw Infinite Warfare, both massive failures, right? As far as the community is concerned, as far as fans go, like they weren't great games. They are overshadowed by most of the rest of the, the franchise, and especially Infinite Warfare, I thought was an absolute train wreck. Like, I forget that game even came out, right? And, and that's saying something, because I hated Advanced Warfare, and Infinite Warfare was even worse, which is crazy. So, by not releasing Ghost 2 and not releasing Infinite Warfare 2, what they're essentially saying is that the Modern Warfare series is their best work, and they're going to go all in on Modern Warfare. And with that being said, you know, if they took the best elements from all three Modern Warfare games and put it into one package, they could essentially continue to support that game moving forward and never release another Call of Duty under the Infinity Ward title, which would be really, really interesting to see. And how they would monetize that would be even more, even more crazy, right? Um, I would be interested to know what percentage of their money do they make from physical and digital game sales as opposed to DLC and microtransactions. Because if they did the DLC and microtransaction system well, they probably make more money off of that than the actual game sales, or it's probably pretty close. So it wouldn't be a stretch to think that this is the last game, right? If they just released this Modern Warfare game, it's the ultimate Modern Warfare experience, and then they continue to support this game year after year, for as long as the, the servers are up or as long as people are interested in playing it that could be really really interesting and a couple of things you know it could follow maybe they maybe they have heavy microtransactions and they have you know maybe seasons like season passes similar to Fortnite they could take that route to kind of maybe sell the base game for $60 and then every season just full on put content into that game and instead of focusing on a new Call of Duty every year you focus on three month you know every three months you have a big update right like you have a, a summer a spring summer fall winter big updates with big patches uh, big content and things to do to keep the game fresh that could be more profitable for them especially if they focus all their efforts on that the other thing to consider though if that is their plan uh what is going to happen when the playstation 5 comes out and the next xbox comes out like what would happen to that game would they re-release it for that console or would it just be backwards compatible like what how how would that work how would they continue to support that game moving forward onto a new platform right because if we look at something like fortnite right it's not a physical i mean i guess they did have a physical release but really it's just an online experience and it's not really tied down to any single console in this instance i guess it, it feels like it would be kind of tied to the ps4 and xbox one but i guess you could just kind of port it over and maybe update the graphics or frame rate or something like that i don't know um i'm kind of getting ahead of myself at this point i just wanted to make this video to kind of give you my predictions for what we could be seeing in 2019 as far as a ultimate modern warfare experience goes i hope that they do this right i think this is their last chance i don't think infinity ward will have another chance if this game does poorly so i hope they do it well um and maybe if we see that this is the last infinity ward title where they will continue to kind of support it year after year kind of like uh, rainbow six or siege or whatever um then it might 
be really good this might be good for the consumer we might not have to buy a call of duty every year we might just get to continue to play the same one and if they keep making it fresh then that's good for us good for the developers and that's overall a good thing so that's about it guys let me know in the comment section below what you think about the modern warfare the upcoming modern warfare game for 2019 do you think it's modern warfare 4 do you think it's going to be this sort of hybrid ultimate experience do you think it's going to be something totally different at this point we know it's a modern warfare something right i think at least that much is confirmed um, but we'll see in a couple of days and uh then we can reassess the 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 vision and kind of take it from there with that being said guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed drop a thumbs up on the video and uh subscribe if you'd like turn on notifications if you want to see more uploads from me and that's about it so i will talk to you guys again soon probably in a few days peace